Hey, I'm Mike Brennan doing another one of our video news update, and I'm with Bob Evans, who's the president of Freudenberg North America. We just had a great briefing on uh, what's going on with Freudenberg around the world, but of course, at Michigan Technology News, we want to know what's going on in Michigan. <laughs> one of the things that really caught my attention uh, during the uh, hour-long presentation was a new program that you call E2, which is Education and Environment, and apparently you're doing that somewhere in Michigan. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Mike. Uh, e Squared, actually, is what we call uh, the program, and as you mentioned, it is focused on education and environment. It's a, a corporate social um, responsibility program, uh, which I think is uniquely styled. So what um, the, the group has set aside uh, a total of 14 million euro wow. um, for, for contribution into our local communities. And um, I or any employee within Freudenberg operating wherever around the world can identify a worthwhile organization in our community that has a focus somehow of helping in terms of education or uh, the protection of the environment and, and can nominate, essentially, those um, you know, uh, not-for-profit type organizations to receive funds. But it's not just the, the, the money, right? Um, our colleagues also have to be willing themselves to invest time to support those organizations in their endeavors in the local community, right? Mm -hmm. uh, really, really terrific program. And it has been um, widely uh, taken up by, I'm proud to say, uh, our, co our colleagues, our workforce in, throughout North America. Uh, of 60 projects approved uh, globally, um, 60 to 70 percent so far have, have come from North America. And I think that says a lot about the spirit of, of who we are in, in the U.S., in Mexico, in Canada. In Michigan, um, actually our first two projects were, were based in Detroit. One that I'm particularly um, uh, close to and passionate about is, is called Beyond Basics. Uh, which is a, a program, um, a reading um, and literacy program where there are trained uh, tutors that go into uh, the, the schools in, in Detroit. We've actually adopted, if you will, as our school, Burton International here in downtown. And, and not only have we contributed funds into the organization Beyond Basics, but we have colleagues that go into the classroom uh, on a periodic basis. I can't remember if it's twice a month, I think that's right, for the afternoon uh, to assist the kids um, with their, their reading and literacy uh, development. Really a terrific program. And, and we know, you know, uh, for instance, as, as um, difficult as DPS has right now a time, um, to, to really bring up the caliber of the education, anything that we can do to support that, right, um, and, and, and enhance the literacy rates of the kids in Detroit, we're all for it. That's one example. On the environmental side, um, we, we participate and support the greening of Detroit um, in connection with their, their various uh, tree planting exercises, but also the development uh, of, of a nursery. Um, so uh, those are two in the city. A third in the city is uh, Sunshine's uh, Always Brighter with a Second Chance. And this is a small organization. The other two are reasonably well known, um, but there's a, a, um, a lady who's just terrific who developed this um, uh, organization and, and they have a home where they take in um, uh, un young unwed mothers who have been um, you know, placed out somehow right uh, they have no place to live they have no food they're you know sometimes sometimes the starting point is they're not in the educational system and uh, they're given a place to to live uh, but then they're um, uh, they're given the chance to learn life skills that are just incredibly important for them to be able to uh, sustain themselves get a job get back into school some of our funds go to um, uh, vocational uh, educational tuition for instance in programs so those are three in in Detroit uh, we have I think it's as many as six other uh, in southeast Michigan we have operations in Plymouth and also out in Howell uh, a couple to mention uh, La Casa which is out in the Howell area um, uh, also focused on 
uh, sort of empowerment uh, to, to young, um, young ladies who have um, empowerment and education, young ladies who have been somehow abused uh, in their background. And then there's other programs, FIRST Robotics and, and so forth, right? So it's a really, and, and again, these are programs identified by the colleagues, right? They nominate these programs uh, for support and participation. Um, and uh, so what, what a wonderful way to give back to your community, um, identifying organizations that, that our people you know, want to work with and are close to.